As you begin the year, take stock in your health. January is Cervical Cancer Awareness Month. Nearly 13,000 women in the United States are diagnosed with cervical cancer each year. But this type of cancer is almost always preventable with vaccinations and regular screenings. And joining us now to talk more about this is Dr. Emily Landers, a gynecologic oncologist at Sky Ridge Medical Center. Thank you so much for being here. Absolutely, so thanks for having me. <laughs> first of all, let's talk about some of the signs or symptoms that women should watch for and a little bit of the background on cervical cancer. Okay, um, so cervical cancer is actually the fourth most common cancer in women worldwide. Um, as you stated, over 13,000 women in the United States will develop cervical cancer each year and over 4,000 women die each year of cervical cancer. Um, the um, signs and symptoms are tough. So cervical precancer, precancerous lesions, and early stage cervical cancer mm -hmm. generally don't cause any symptoms, um, which is why it's really recommended that women continue to get those routine pap smears um, and screening so that we can detect those precancerous lesions before they become cancer. Um, right. If a woman has a more advanced stage of cervical cancer, occasionally they can have some abnormal or irregular bleeding, mm -hmm. um, some pelvic pain, um, and maybe some abnormal discharge. Yeah, I mean, actually my mother had cervical cancer oh, and wow. I think it was just by luck that they caught it and she's, she's healthy today, but it just tells you how important early detection is. Absolutely. When we talk about prevention, vaccinations for HPV are an important step. Um, tell us how cervical cancer is linked to that. So HPV, the human papillomavirus, is responsible for 99% of cervical cancers. And um, we are so fortunate to have a vaccine now that covers, against, uh, covers and protects against nine different types of the human papillomavirus. Mm -hmm. Seven of those are the high risk types that cause cervical cancer. Um, so um, that vaccine is also available and recommended um, for males and females up to age 45 now. Okay. Um, but we highly recommend early vaccination at or before age 11 or 12 so that we can vaccinate individuals before they're exposed to the virus and help prevent that cervical cancer from ever developing. Okay, so vaccinations, early detection, all key. Absolutely. Thank you so much for joining us today. Absolutely, thank you.